In this tutorial, we will explore the new pump elements in BioIn5, which allow pumping power to be tracked for a project. The new pump element appears on the Configure tab. We can either double-click to open the Properties dialog box or right-click and select Properties. Within the pump element, there are three methods for specifying pumping power. You can choose to calculate power, enter a constant power, or enter a scheduled power by clicking on the appropriate radio button. If we select constant power, a value for power can be directly entered into the text edit box. If we select scheduled power, we can click the pattern button to enter a time varying pattern for the power. For each of these two options, BioWind does not calculate the flow based on the power that is entered. It's assumed that the required flow can be delivered by the pump. These two options can be used for keeping track of the power consumed by existing pumps at a wastewater treatment facility. If we select Calculate Power, the Pipe and Pump Specifications button becomes active. Clicking this button presents you with the Pump and Pipe Specifications dialog box. Here we can enter the static head, pipe length, and pipe inside diameter. Clicking the Pump Efficiency button opens a dialog where constants A, B, and C can be specified in the overall pump efficiency equations. If you only want one efficiency applied over the entire range of discharge, the B and C can be set to zero. Clicking the Pipe Configuration Details opens a dialog box where we can specify parameters for pipe roughness and fittings. Pipe roughness can be selected from a number of pipe material options or can be user-defined by selecting the custom radio button and entering a value into the text edit box. The loss coefficient for the fittings can either be specified directly into the text edit box if it's known, or you can enter the number of each type of fitting along the specified length of pipe and click the Calculate Total K for Fittings button. The calculation of pumping power in BioIn is summarized in the Pumping Power section of the Power in BioIn chapter of the manual. BioIn also takes into consideration the impact of high solids concentrations in the determination of dynamic viscosity. The parameters for the dynamic viscosity calculation can be modified under Project, Parameters, Physical Chemical, under the Properties Constants tab. When we are adding a power table or power chart to the album, pumping power is listed as a power category. For more information on displaying power demand in BioIn5, please see the video entitled Displaying Power Demand and Energy Use in BioIn 5.0. This concludes our tutorial on the new pump element in BioIn 5. More information on the new features in BioIn 5.0 can be found on our website as well as in the new help manual. In addition, please check out our video library for additional videos on how to use BioIn.